girl Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today is something different. Uh, today we are starting chapter two of my co-worker getting introduced to other cultures artists. So chapter two is dedicated to BGYO. Okay. I love BGYO. I have been following them since their Shaw trainee days. I've watched them grown professionally and everything. Like, oh my God, they're dancing on point. Vocals, harmonization on point. If you guys don't know, my biases are Nate and Mickey. I have been very, very, very faithful to those two since their Shaw trainee days. Okay, I love them all. I get wrecked by Jello. I get wrecked by Akira. I get wrecked by JL on the daily. I approve. Check out our BGYO videos on Mori Mori Entertainment. Check out my reaction videos on this channel of BGYO. You will see. I get wrecked, okay? I just... But I am very faithful to Nate and Mickey, okay? But I am excited. I am introducing um, Melissa to BGYO. Um, this is her second P-pop artist that she will be getting into. Um, I just want to specify so people understand. Chapter one is, um, the chapters are going to stay with that artist. There will be multiple parts for that chapter. So you may see chapter two, hashtag BGYO or whatever the artist may be, part da 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 da. And it may grow throughout how many, you know, until Melissa says, I'm unable to record anymore. It's not fitting my schedule. Da 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 da. Until she's unable to film with me anymore, um, it'll continue. It could be years. It could be a few months, weeks. Who knows? It's whatever she feels if she's able to continue or whatever with her busy schedule of life as well. So, let's say six months from now, I may upload another part of BGYO because of their newer stuff or things that you guys recommended that I personally have seen but she has not and you guys want to see her reaction on them. So that's just an understanding. The chapter is dedicated to the artist but the parts will grow throughout time. Because I will say for chapter one which is dedicated to SB19, um, I just recorded part six and seven with her um, the same day I did BGYO. And I also started chapter three for XG as well. So, um, and there's parts for XG. But the chapter is dedicated to the artist, multiple parts as time goes on with that artist based off what you guys want her to react to or see or check out or even myself, you know? Um, but there's always so much. Like, I was just like, oh, what do I want her to react to without overwhelming her so much and everything? And sometimes I do forget. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. She needs to check that out. She needs to check that out. So that's why you guys are around to help me out and remember what awesome performances and everything I should have her react to. So I just want to let you guys know it is her first time reacting to BGYO. This is her second time getting into other cultures' artists, okay? So be polite, guys. Be kind. You know how I am. I love spreading kindness, support, no fandom wars. I'm all about good energy and good vibes, all right? I love who I love, artist-wise. I love music. Music is very universal, okay? It is a very magical thing. It can bring you up, down, whatever your mood is. There is something out there for you. Whether you understand it because it's in your language or not, that's a different story. It is fine. You connect with music. It's so beautiful. So yes, I am a multi-stan. I love multiple artists, but I love them all equally. I love them all tremendously. Each one has a special place in my heart always, okay? So I just want to let you guys know this is her second time. So she's not going to say she loves an artist more than the other or whatever. Each one's different. Each one's unique, okay? So I'm excited for you guys to see who her biases are. <sighs> you guys will find out if I'm sharing biases or not, or if Emmy's sharing a bias or not. Who knows if we have the same taste in biases? 
So I'm excited for you guys to check this out. Again, positive vibes always. She is my lovely coworker. We both do um, Medicare billing for a hospital. She also patient sat like I did for a little bit um, before that became just a little too much for her. So yes, I just want to let you guys all know all that. Be kind to my coworker. And yeah, we're going to get into the video. Love you guys. Hey guys, it's your girl Tori and welcome back to my channel. I am here with my co-worker Melissa. Howdy ho! Today we are continuing part two of chapter two of BGYO's music videos. So how are you adjusting? How are you liking BGYO? I'm digging it. You're digging it. Right now, as of the second, she is biasing Mickey, but we will see as time goes on. Yes. And we've learned that you really like rapping in Tagalog. Apparently, I do. <laughs> For a person who doesn't normally listen to rap, you're no. like, bring me the rappers. Occasionally, I'll get a little Snoop Dogg in, but I don't listen to rap. Yeah, I mean, Snoop Dogg's like an OG. So you can't help but love Snoop Dogg. I just think he's adorable. I don't know why. <laughs> he's just goofy. He's so goofy, and he just, you know, he's so chill. Well, I know why he's chill, yeah. but. <laughs> you know, I was going to say, I mean, you know he hired his own, like, a uh, weed roller person. Did he really? Yes, that guy makes bank. Well, that guy's chill. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, right now I am going to be having her react to The Baddest. So, this is the second MV after their debut. So, you watched The Light already. This yeah. is the second one. Oh, okay. So you'll see how they progressed from their debut to now. Right now, she really likes uh, When I'm With You. She liked the superhero references. I did. So we're going to dive on in and see how she likes these. Let's go. so long not having to share Mickey with anyone that I know well and now I gotta share Mickey with you hmm you're lucky I love ya yeah well you know I like the rapping and <laughs> he's kind of cool he's kind of cool he does give off like the cool vibes like swag even yeah, he's got he has swag because what yeah, was it? Has swag. A bunch of reactors were able to do like a Zoom call or whatever and introduce ourselves and say who we or who our bias was and everything. So I physically was able to like see them and say hi and oh. all that stuff. Well, not through the Zoom, not in person. Yeah. But they are epic. Epic. They are epic. And he just gives off like his personality. He's just swag. He's just very chill. When I see you rockin', when I see you rock Don't know what it is about you that I like so much You're the girl I dream about, you're everything I want You make hard things look so easy you're And that is Jello yeah. you He's the other rapper, so it would not surprise me I know this guy is sad like him too <laughs> So 
So, so far you're leaning toward both the rappers. Actually, you're leaning toward my bias, Mickey, and Emmy's bias, Jillo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, he has that, you know. He's also the leader of BGYO. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to pick them. <laughs> you know how to pick them. All right, yeah. You want it all, gotta take So this did not have English subtitles for me to add, unfortunately. Hey, 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 to rapping. Rapping, yeah, maybe. When I see you walking, when I see you in other countries. I can picture them in like a drama. An action filled movie. Just make me stronger. Yeah. You make me a believer. Tell the world that you are mine, girl. Hey, Celine Secret Service. Hello, boys. Your first mission is take over the world. So, what do you think? I thought that was a very entertaining video very action filled yeah yeah yes now i will say the only thing that kind of bothered me about the whole nv was toward the end with the dragon i felt like they could have done better um effects well they're on a lower budget and that's okay they yeah. could have done something other than a dragon why why are you biased that you not don't like dragons no i like dragons i just they're really difficult you either need to do them well well, how do we know it's a dragon? Does it say it? It's Maybe in the it's sky. a. It could be a monster that flies in the sky. Use your imagination. It is a dragon. I didn't find a dragon. <laughs> okay, we agreed to disagree. <laughs> Sound good? Okay. To me, it's a dragon. I just found it like a monster. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. A, a snake-looking monster in the sky. Yes. Hello, where's your exciting, exciting imagination and creativity? I don't know. I guess I've been watching a lot of Ink Master and the Japanese tattoos that look like a dragon to me. I find it as a flying monster in the sky. <laughs> okay. That was going to come. Maybe it was an alien. Did you think of that? Hmm? It's definitely not an alien. You don't know. I know in my gut it's not an alien. You just don't know. Well, when you meet an alien, let me know so I can look okay, at the Okay, when are you going to meet a dragon? <laughs> Goodness. She's not going to meet a dragon, people. Who knows? I mean, if aliens exist, dragons <laughs> exist, okay? I mean, I could very well be an alien. How do I know you're not one? Huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> good point. <laughs> you didn't watch enough movies growing up. I did. I okay. watched um, Neverland, or what is it? Never Ending Story. Yeah, Never Ending Story. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that was yeah, cute. That was good. Did you ever watch Stranger Things? No. Okay, crazy, crazy show on Netflix. Has several seasons. Mm -hmm. and that's very sci-fi. Yeah. And like, I don't know what the creature I'm not really a big sci-fi person. Yeah, but it's just so entertaining, because why I don't know if writers in it. You should try it sometime. It's I pretty know. good. Yeah, it's been but there's a lot of references throughout it mm -hmm. in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And they have all these flashbacks to the 80s. You know, it's during the 80s time, so it's kind of fun. 
I know it's very popular. Maybe that's why I've been avoiding it. <laughs> it is. Um, we're waiting for the last half of the final season. Wow. Uh, I think there's a writer's strike and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So the next one I'm having you react to is Fly Away. It's a performance video. So it's on MV, but it is a performance video. So you'll see more dancing and such. Okay. So yeah. Fly Away. And they're really good at harmonization. <laughs> I was waiting. I was like staring at you. I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for her. Like, I got enemies calling inside of my head. All these enemies, they keep track of what I said. So what I do is to stare at the sky. Look at them with a smile, but from succeed in a while. I stare at the sky. I love that. There you go. Jello can also be vocal. So they all can sing, rap, and whatever. But the main rappers are like Jello, Mickey, and the and R&B-ish, R&B feel to, mm -hmm. to that song. What did you think of the harmonization? Oh, they did well in that, yeah. Oh, yeah. They all, they're very good in harmony. They are. Now, they do a lot of covers and such on ABS-CBN, um, their program called ASAP. So they've done a lot of covers of other artists where they have to sing it and do the dancing and everything. Yeah. So they've done, God, a crap load. And on top of learning their own voc um, songs and dances, I'm over here like, how do you guys memorize all this? I'm lucky that I can remember what hey, I had for breakfast. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm like over here like, I give you guys props. That is so true. But they can all sing and r rap. I haven't really heard Akira or JL rap, but I do know Nate has rapped Jello of course, and Mickey, who you also like, they rap, but 
Nate can also, they can all do vocals as well, pretty much. So, and they're all dancers, right? So, Jello and Nate are still, or Jello and Mickey are still your biases? Yes. Yes? Mm. You're like, so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next one is going to be Magnet. So, this is kind of like harder beat. I'm not sure if you're going to like it as much. It might be a little more of a sound that you are not familiar with. I don't know, but I love the song. I like how every time it's just like an intro, like you're watching a movie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are some titles in this one for you. <laughs> So the symbol that you see that's for the fandom represents the fandom. trouble first me we'll probably both get in trouble but i say go look at some other people that have dyed their hair in the hospital yeah like who actually see patients yeah and it's like red red we'll like purple that one day i like this i like this too Um, the vibe was a little different, mm -hmm. but I didn't mind it. You didn't mind it? Because mm -hmm. I wasn't sure, because I know there was, I think it was for Josh. That was really hard. Different. Harder. Oh, but no, you're thinking of, okay, no, that was Philip. Oh, yeah. Philip Ken, yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, I didn't mind it. You didn't I, mind that mm -mm. one? What did you think of Mickey's rap 
part. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. And they were a lot, they were stylish. Had a lot more movement mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. on in, in the whole video. They like to play around with them. Light to dark songs, but they normally play a lot more like softer mm -hmm. music. It's not like um, boom, like. I know, like, for instance, you really like Bazinga. Mm -hmm. It's not, like, boom like that, beat-wise, but it does hit hard, like, dance-wise and such as well. Yeah, they do it's a like, lot of dancing. Yeah, it's like, it hits hard in a different way and such, but they're more, like, softer, I feel like, gentler. And they're... You don't have a hat on. No, I don't. Oh, that's when it was different. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have my hat on. <laughs> I know, I feel weird. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've noticed. And I love their soft songs. And then yeah. they also go hard like with the baddest and all that. And that was a I that was a neat a neat song. Um the had a lot of rhythm and you know You like the spy theme? I like the spy theme <laughs> because that's what I, I like those kind of books. Mm -hmm. Well, more mystery ish. Yeah. But yeah. Well, the last one you'll be reacting to for part two is PNGNP. Um, yeah, so this is softer. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean, guys? Again, it's been a while. Please help me out. PNGNP. Yes. What does that mean? We're not sure. But you'll tell us. Yes. And we thank you. Yes. In advance. <laughs> it's, it's been a hot minute, so I'm not sure what that would mean because I'm over here like well I know it's not an actual word it's abbreviation for stuff because there's no vowels that would be my guess yeah that's <laughs> that's like because that that first, something, but at I, first I was like how do I pronunciate this and I'm like oh I can't there's no vowels I like the outside mm -hmm. it's raining though right on them suave Right now. Look at that. Somebody is getting a little, you know, something, something, something. <laughs> Reminds me of that series Dome or whatever. Where Under the Dome? Yeah. Where you, you saw it? I didn't watch that it. Was good. But I know the concept. Yeah. And the dance is very like elegant type. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. Continuous. Correct, yeah. I like that pink color. That was a smooth transition. That was cool, wasn't that? I like how they have like the the lights or the orbs that are around. Mm -hmm. And you know, funny, because dreams have, they always say the orb and stuff. I don't really remember my dreams, so. Girl, I dream all the time. I'm very exhausted. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I have some props for wearing suits in the Philippines. It is over there. 
I really like their fits in this one. Their what? Their outfits. Mm -hmm. What'd you think? Yeah, I like the atmosphere of that video. Don't you? It was just very serene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I feel like when it comes to BGYO, like a lot of my favorite songs by them are either leaning toward this type of vibe for them or it leans more toward um, the more upbeat, like uh, when I'm with you, mm -hmm. like that type of good vibe, energy, you can't help but smile and such. And he's in her. I also like that one. I like singing because I dance along with it. I go like, wee. Yeah, that, that was a very, the um, background was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it was also almost like a sensual type song. Yeah. That's like the vibe I got from it. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh. But it also reminded me of the dome. I'm like, guys, can you leave? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were in a dream. Yeah. True. So, I can't move right now. No. They could not. They could not. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't dream, really, so. Well, you know. So, what is your intake of BGYO so far? Uh, I, they have smooth moves. Mm -hmm. They can, uh, you know, they dance, they harmonize. Mm hmm um they have the rapping that they do which is the nice plus yes and this video in particular was uh nice because it it, it was more of i guess um it progressed a little more from mm -hmm. the earlier videos true 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 a little more mature yeah yeah well that's to, good to make the growth of the group i i feel like that's correct yeah most definitely i mean they're not really an old group I will say, like, for Mori Mori Entertainment, like, we were established in 2020. They were probably established, I think it's been a year or two. Oh. Or almost two years. So they haven't even been around that long. So I feel like where they're at now, it's not bad at all. They're mm -hmm. very skilled and developed at where they are. Oh, yeah. Very professional, very sweet, kind to their fandom and also their friends with SB19 and such. Like oh, the whole cool. group in general are friends with other artists of P-pop that eventually you'll get more into. They should join and do one song together. I think it would be fun. It would be fun. Well, not just for that. I think it would be fun if they had like a variety show, like maybe just something that they can do back and forth, like with SB19 or I don't care what group starts it where they invite other members over for a challenge. Yeah. Like a basketball challenge or something like that. Like, And then someone gets punished or something, like some quirky little prank or whatever. I think it'll be fun to break off in teams that way and such. Cool. Well, competitive thing. But that's just my idea. I don't know. People Shitty. may disagree. <laughs> but I will say, the sad thing, though, about... Um, BGYO is the fact that they came shortly after well it's been a few years after SB19 so SB19 was starting to get well known any group that came after like first one and then it was like um, BGYO after them like those were the first three P-pop boy groups around the time that we started our channel uh, of course there are older groups that it was just not popular back then as oh. much but the thing about fandom group or fandoms is that they always want to say oh my group's better than yours oh my group's this or that but like i said 
BGYO, SB19, they're friends. BGYO, first one, all of them, they're friends. I don't understand that because everybody's different. That's right. like saying artist here. Well, that's my favorite artist. Well, okay. Okay. And? Like, I was mentally prepared for you to be like, oh, I'm not digging other cultures' music as much. Like, I was mentally preparing myself when I first started getting you into things. Not every group that I introduce you to is going to be your cup of tea. Like, I don't know if you're really vibing with BGYO, and it's fine if you aren't or am. I don't know. Or maybe we haven't found that song that clicked. Like, do you feel like you're kind of, kind of vibing with them? Yeah, I mean, that it's been uh, enjoyable to, to watch, you know, the difference in mm -hmm. how they sing and dance and mm -hmm. move. And how much they progress throughout the beginning to now. I told you I like the one song. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. a fun song. Yeah, it's very fun. But that's that's a little background story of how people <sighs> compare groups. But you can't because it's like, you know, mm -hmm. apples to oranges. Exactly. You just can't. I agree because... That's I, the same thing for single artists. You just can't. 100%. You can like one artist more than another artist, but you can't... Yeah. I completely agree. Anytime I get hateful comments on a group because of another fandom saying, oh, you shouldn't check them out. You should check out SB19 or so-and-so. I'm just saying that because... SB19, I do get a lot more comments. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll like, they're probably like anti fans or something. Because the thing about hate comments is that it's not always necessarily from that fandom. It's a lot of times, it's very twisted. Someone that could be possibly in the same fandom and they made a fake account to make it so you would hate that fandom. It's very time consuming hate. And yeah. I don't get it, and I don't like it. And the the first song, you know, the light, I mean, that had a good... Meaning? Yeah. I think that's what I like a lot about um, Filipino groups and music in general, is that a lot of the songs are meaningful. But I will say they love their breakup songs. <sighs> they like their sad songs. <laughs> there are moments I need happy songs, guys. Yeah. I can only do so much sadness in one time. <laughs> they do like sad songs as well. Like, very softer music. What I've learned is, like, they're not just them. Indonesia, Malaysia as well. They're more of softer tone of music that more variety of people like mm -hmm. compared to um, harder beat stuff, like heavy rap and such like that. A lot of the time, it'll be more, like... U.S. fans and people over like this area that tend to like the harder stuff, as I like to say, heavy on the rap and things like that. Right. We tend to go lean more toward as our favorite compared to like the softer music. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, if you guys have anything else that you guys wish her to react to a BGYO, definitely DM me on my personal Twitter or Instagram. Give it a follow, Tori Space 13. That is a one and a three. Exactly. Yes. That it is. Because <laughs> I was born on the 13th, guys, okay? <laughs> That's why I chose that number. Um, Send me links of what you wish Melissa to react to. Now, guys, I have reacted to a lot of BGYO, so before you ask me to react to anything BGYO related, please check out the playlist on Mori Mori Entertainment or check out the playlist on my personal YouTube channel as well that's titled BGYO, uh, just to make sure your requests I haven't already seen. Um, Melissa's more than welcome to check them out. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Very nice of you, Tori. You're welcome. But this is chapter two, guys. BGYO. Anything for chapter two will be two. BGYO related. Okay, guys? So it will be multiple parts for chapter two. But yeah, with that being said, guys, we love you. Bye. You can. I don't do this for y'all. No, I just do this for me. I'm